Mm. Established on the 28th of February 1929, the Go Government College Ibado has seen better days and produced proud products as the Old Boys Association formed in 1934 braces up for the 92nd anniversary celebration of GCI. They insist that the school should be handed over to them to stop decay occasioned by years of neglect by governments. Or your state governor, Shei Makinde, is expected to inaugurate some projects executed by some old boys as part of the celebration. But 87 years after establishment of the Old Boys Association, they have come with a revolutionary idea to restore the lost glory of GCI, that Government College Ibadan. Jide, what's up with GCI? Did the other time on our Sunday special, we we actually showed you the, the how fine the landscape of the school, you know, and the school used to be a very, very, you know, standard school. Well, all of a sudden, years and years, you can see from this wonderful, beautiful drone shots mm -hmm. <laughs> in the eighties, in the seventies. The school, what the school? <laughs> the school at one point used to be the best in West Africa. Oh boy! And. Um, that was in the 60s and 70s. Look at it. But the standard has gone down tremendously and um, it's no longer one of the best in West Africa. It's not even numbered among the best mm -hmm. in West Africa anymore. The school produced, let me run through some of their most prominent old boys. Mm -hmm. Professor Wale Shoyinka, the mm -hmm. late Lekon Are, the legendary author Cyprian Equesi. Mm -hmm. Former governor for your state, Omolulu Lawyer, hmm. Adegoke Adelabu, the original KLMS, Professor Lu Akinkube, Bisadi Ologunde, Lagbaja, hmm. Wale Babala Kinsan, hmm. the current Minister of Health, Enahire, hmm. Ehanire, Omonoba Eredjawa, the late, the late uh, Oba um, Obini, Professor Femi Oshofison, hmm. the late Ebe Gubadia. Yes. Ex uh, INEC chairman. chairman. These are some of the old boys of the school. You know, like uh, most of the iconic schools, iconic old schools, what you see at GCI is evidence of decaying the infrastructure. The old students have tried their best to. Uh, make some contributions like building a, a new main library, refurbishing many buildings, and refurbishing the two main hostels at a cost of more than 300 million. They also uh, rebuilt the principal's house, lecture theater, laboratories, clinics. Mm. Basically, anything new that you see on campus is either is the old students who built it by themselves or secured sponsors to put those structures there. In fact, one information I got was that the old students are even recruiting and paying teachers as we speak. Hmm. They are contributing to pay teachers. They are recruiting and paying teachers. I thought it was in my village alone that that is a problem. No hmm. teachers. You will find a teacher being made to teach like four different subjects. That's in my rustic village, or as rustic as Ibema in Ekiti State. But <laughs> the truth is, this is uh, Ibadan, state capital, mm. largest city in West Africa, an urban center, and one of the most notable schools in our country's history, facing a problem in which they now have to, uh, the whole students now have to recruit teachers and pay those teachers. It shows that things have really, really uh, degenerated. And right now, as they are, they are tomorrow, they are start flagging up the celebrations of their ninety-second uh, anniversary. You know, and uh, it is seventh year of the alumni association of the school. Good they boys. are interested in taking some big measures. Mm. The same look. They want to take. We can't watch this school. We have wept over this school. We saw buildings that had decayed, some of us burst into tears. Mm. We want to take a bigger role mm. in fixing this school. What is wrong with that? Huh? I, I, I really do not think it's a bad idea, given 
that they have done so much. So if mm. they are saying we have the capacity, you know, a lot of these schools, you can imagine all students of uh, King's College, College, if they were to come together, mm. they can raise billions. Mm. That King's College. So this is the thing. They can't watch their school get worse. And they are saying, look, give us a bigger role. We want to take a bigger, play a bigger role in the running of the school. Not just simply coming to fix inside, running of the school and even um, um, mm. enrollment. Mujid, you've been in government, so you know what uh, this is all about as in, in terms of can you just come as in, is it possible for the or your state government to grant them that uh, request? Yes, it's uh, possible, but then um, it's not That's just possible. a straight, uh, it's not a straight uh, jacket yeah. thing like that. Uh, I know in um, a state, some schools were returned to uh, the owners uh, sometime between 2012 and 2014. But then it uh, requires uh, some provisions of the uh, state assembly to be um, okay. yeah because I mean the, the governor can't just decide. Okay, and, there'll uh, be legislation. To yeah, that there has to be a legislation. Okay, because in terms of uh, what you give uh, to um, how, how the teachers are handled, I mean then the old the old students, for example, too, we have to I mean we have to come out with like a trustee. I mean. So that will be managing uh, such schools. So mm -hmm. it's not just uh, something that can uh, happen like that. But then I think it all boils, the, the decay in the educational sector boils down to the budgetary allocation. Of, mm -hmm. Look at the budgetary allocation of Ghana to education. It's higher than our defense, education, and health budgets combined for a population that is less than 30 million. Yeah, a lot of which the smaller countries, which their budgets fact. are bigger than their Nigeria budgets. Budget. The budget for Ocean education Angola in Ghana budget, is bigger than our budget. The budget <laughs> of education in mm. Ghana is bigger than oh. the budget of Ministry of Defense, Education, Agri, and Water Resources in Nigeria put together. So why won't Nigerians migrate to Ghana for to, to, for hmm. for educational public? Why won't they have better uh, uh, college education? Yeah, so not <laughs> like. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, so, so that, 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 that is why. I mean, we might we might be laughing, but then I, it, it, it's a sad reality. We need to pay more attention to um, our uh, educational uh, sector, or rather, we'll be telling stories of a decay of infrastructure. Oh, in all right, join schools. us for more discussion on this. Is the International Vice President of GCI, Old Boys Association, Tola Obembe, who is a 1979 set of the school. <laughs> wow, wow. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Thank That's you. Good great. afternoon. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Also. Also, okay, yeah, also joining us for more insights on this is Shun Abimbola SAN, another international vice president of GCI Old Boys Association. Abimbola is a former attorney general of your state and 1981 set of the school. 1979 and 1981 set of the school. 42 mm -hmm. years and um, mm -hmm. 38 years ago. Ah, thank you for joining us. Now, what exactly do the old boys of government college badon? What do they want? Obembe. Obembe. That's Mr. Obembe. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm actually 78 sets, not 79. Oh, um, okay. well, that's, that's old boys, uh, as, you, as you have rightly said, we've contributed so much to the infrastructure of the school. Unfortunately, the country itself is decayed. Hmm. You know, I was uh, reviewing a news item recently where the infrastructure deficit of Nigeria was tacked at 30 trillion or something like that. Um, we've spent so much money putting the infrastructure together because government had failed. Successive government, not just this government. In fairness, this, even this uh, current administration, we can see some hands. They've just given us 103 teachers. It's true that we were actually, old boys had to put a, a post together to pay for teachers. So we recruited teachers when we realized things were not going well with uh, education. So it's not just the infrastructure that we spent money on. We've also spent money 
on uh, soft sources. skills and uh, for, for the students. Now, we now realize that as much as we're spending, which I can say in the last, since this executive, which is about three years, we spent over a billion just putting things right. We are not getting commensurate results in the lives of these students, not in our lives, not in the lives of the old boys. Because like I say, I mean, I was with, in a meeting with the peers today and I said, listen, 95% of GCI old boys don't have children or words in that school. Mm -hmm. So everything we are doing, we are giving back to the society what the society had placed in us. Everything we are putting in this school, we are not getting results. And that is the problem. That is why we are saying, hey, let us have a hand in the management of this school. Show up, Bola, SAN, what exactly do the old boys of Gobe College Ibadan want? Thank you very much. I think uh, the first vice president, Tola of Inde, has just uh, given uh, the summary of what our demands are. And it's not so much a demand, it's based on the justifications that we have already submitted to government. Um, yes, we have set up an education foundation over the last few years. Good. We have set up endowments. We have funds that we have already amassed uh, in that foundation account towards a situation when the old boys will have direct operational and management control of the school. Um, annually, as earlier stated, annually old boys class sets will be investing 1500 million every year on infrastructure. And in some years, like 2020, it almost uh, was almost like uh, 500 million if you consider that two hostels that were rebuilt alone would cost 300 million. And this is an annual ritual wow. that the old boys do from year to year, apart from the monthly payment of teachers' salaries, mm -hmm. apart from running costs of different uh, ventures, and, and also sourcing for support from various institutions and agencies across. And so we realize that if you continue investing in infrastructure, and you don't have control, you don't have management opportunity to get involved in how things are run. Then it's just like pouring water into a basket mm -hmm. because eventually you set up the infrastructure, you cannot dictate the kind of capacity that you need in the, in the teaching staff. You can't dictate this kind of capacity that you need to, to move to the next set. It's all going to be based on things that decisions that are taken outside of those sustaining why you exist in the first place. And it seems like infrastructure gets decayed every year. Mm. And that's why we ask government that, look, we recognize that there's a lot. Your state has over 600 secondary schools. Mm. With all the teachers and teaching staff mm. and mm. other, mm. other mm. non-academic staff being funded by the state. Let's take this off. We have capacity put in place the kind of structure put a criteria in place, we are ready to meet the standard. And we will excel. You just look at the school within the next five years, and then you will see the kind of standard that the GCI old boys would have brought into the management of the school. Even now, the governor confessed the last time he visited the school that there is no school in Oyo State with the architecture of the campus that Government College has. And that's simply because of the involvement of the old boys. There is no building on that school there is no infrastructure in that school that was not put there by the old boys. Wow. The last time physical development came from any government, I, I can't remember. Mm. And so, mm. so if, if we have contributed that much, I think it's only wise for you to say, look, these people have invested. And like my vice president said, most of us don't have children in the school. So it's mm. all purely uh, humanitarian. humanitarian work. Yeah. Mm. Nice one. Now, um, Mr. Tola Obimbe, you, yes. you want to get involved in the running of the school. Is this the position of the generality of the alumni of the school? Can this really work? Oh, definitely. Can you tell us um, how it will work? No, we, like uh, the Vice President too, she was, uh, Abimbala mentioned, we actually, we had, as far back as 70s, we had set up funds to support the school. Now, the Old Boys Association, we now have an educational foundation. 
amassing funds to support the school. What, the, what we offered or presented to the, uh, to the state government is a template that is workable, not necessarily for us only. What we're seeing, and which has been, has been done somewhere else. So if you know uh, about the time government college but was started, we, there were two other government colleges, Umaya and uh, Ugeli. Government College Umaya uh, has actually been given back to the old boys to run. And funny enough, mm -hmm. we started this, uh, this race well before them, but you know, the mm -hmm. Ohio State is the pace setter. Unfortunately, um, that wise, we couldn't set the pace. Um, <laughs> we are saying we will set up a trust, a trust involving old boys and government. The trust will run the school. That's, that's how it happens everywhere. Eating college is run by a trust. That's what, how, what we, we've said. And we will fund everything. Of course, it's government college. They're not going to change the name. So we have a template. Uh, an educational trust will run the school for the society. And old boys will fund it. That's, and we've been at it how many years now? In fact, before, before I left GCI, and uh, I was, uh, Sheung said something that the last government uh, structure, whatever they did in GCI, I can, I, I'll, I'll remind him, but I, I, can't, I don't know whether he, in 19, when GCI celebrated 50th anniversary, government had the road. <laughs> That's 52 years ago. Okay. I'm sorry, 42 wow. years ago. 42 years ago. For, 42 years ago. for sure, you are a senior associate of Nigeria. Have you gone through all the legal are there, are there legal impediments? Yeah. Yes, the, the, the hurdles. Well, there, there, there are. Do you think? Do you think the government? Do you think the government of your state? will buy this idea, even though uh, it's worked uh, somewhere in Abia State. Mm -hmm. Do you think the current government is disposed to uh, buy this idea? And will there well, be legislative uh, issues that needed to be uh, addressed uh, uh, moving forward? Well, we anticipated a number of blowbacks, mm -hmm. which some are not necessarily based on empirical considerations. Some are just based on other considerations. But the template that we presented to the government is a template that can be replicated. And the last administration was, was when we kick-started this process actively again to present to the government that, look, you can, we can take back this school and we can run it. Now, we are not asking for title documents to, to property and stuff like that. We are asking for management and operational authority because that's really what determines how you put in place. You still submit your curriculum through Ministry of Education. You still do all of that, but we can set our standards based on what we feel is appropriate for a school. Well. That's um, show, I, I will show um, Abimbola SN and Tola Obimbe. I really, I just imagine if this kind of passion mm -hmm. that we could all go back to our schools and give back the way the these guys, no, they are they're they're talking about 300 million era, 500 million, 500 million in one year. Hello, you can, see those, year. You can, see, those, those you can see those structures. I mean, they when are, they build those hostels, mm -hmm. 500 million minimum, because each of the hostels cost about 300 million. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm amazed and at the same time uh, terribly impressed hmm. by what um, the GCI uh, old, old boys. boys have done. And I recommend this to old Everybody, boys yes, across yes. our country because look, I, 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 there was a video that I saw mm. of one school in the Northeast. I don't want to mention the state. Mm. It was terrible. Mm. So, if some of us return to our old schools, we will shed tears. Now, we cannot afford to forget those schools because those schools played a big part in shaping our lives. Yeah. We must remember those schools and give back to those schools. Yeah. You know? Hmm. So, so, let me just uh, finally, Mr. Tola Bimbe, your final message as the Old Boys Association will be clocking, is it 87? 92. 92. Two old boys, 87. Old boys association, 87. 87, yes. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Last message. My, final, my, 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 my message is uh, to, to the government of Oyo State is uh, we've been partnering together. Uh, we'll continue to be your partners. Let's look at these things actively. It's for the benefit of our future as a, as a people. Uh, education, we all know. We all know where we are. So there's no point regurgitating the dismal situation in Nigeria. But the least we can do as old boys is what we are trying to do. Let's partner. Let's take. You know, or your state, Ibadan. Ibadan was the education um, capital of Nigeria, of West Africa. Go and check most of the institutes in Ibadan. Mm -hmm. NCRI, uh, CREAM, all of them. IITA, uh, NISA, let's everything go. is we in We have Ibadan. to leave there. Let's go to your father, Mr. Shon Yes, okay. I think that, like, um, I said, it's a partnership. Even if there are legal considerations, we are willing to sit and iron them out with government in a way that once we develop this template to a final picture, the government will own it and can also take it to other old boys. Okay. I would thank you, Mr. Tola nice. Abimbi and Mr. Sean Abimbola, SAN, Old Boys Association uh, Government College, Ibadan. Jide? Hmm. Uh, your state government, they have 600 schools. So, giving old boys, uh, 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 giving chance to manage the school, uh, chance I, to I don't think it's a bad idea. Uh, 599. But so we, say, we definitely will stay on this matter. <laughs> we want to know how it mm. ends up. Mm. So, we will show more than we'll the person interest yes. on mm. this mm. Mm. matter. And mm. at any time, we will be free to call uh, uh, Mr. Bembe mm. and uh, mm. other Mr. leaders Shaw. of the old boys. boys are proud of what you have done. That's nice. And uh, Tom of guys. We'll, it's becoming, we'll support you all the way. It's becoming increasingly difficult for governments at the so national to fund, to fund mm, uh, mm, uh, secondary education. education. Mm. Uh, because, I mean, there uh, yeah. are not many schools like this in those no, days. No, that, no, no, that's no. it. I mean, Would you jam your own? Thank you. Baba, did you call out your own? Thank you too for your contribution. Yeah.